Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time reviewing on Home Alone. Now, I think a lot of us 90s kids and kids who grew up into the 80s, into the 90s, probably remember what Home Alone was. It was a 90s classic gem that featured McCulkey Kirkins as Kevin, the kind of kid who's basically the runt of the litter, the butt of everyone's jokes. And what's interesting is that the person who wrote the script was actually John Hughes, who actually also directed the film Ferris Bueller's Day Off. So you see a lot of inspiration here. So the premise of the film is basically about Kevin McAllister, who lives with his large family in this big fancy house. And after an incident with with a certain pizza, he wishes for his family to disappear, and he kind of gets his wish, and it ends up coming true. So Kevin is basically home alone, and at the same time, the family realise, well, on the plane to Paris, that they've left Kevin. So at the same time with Kevin, we see him enjoying his new life, being home alone, and I think a lot of us, us, had that moment where, you know, we're usually home alone, we get to do what we want, see what we want to do. And what's interesting is that at the same time throughout the film, Kevin starts to mature slightly and take on the more responsible route. Well, at the same time, time causing some mischief and at the same time. What's interesting is that you've also got the two burglars, Harry and Marv. Now, Harry is basically the brains of the duo, and is meant to serve more the realistic one, while Marv is basically more of an idiot and a bit of a man-child. Now, I feel like with some of their scenes, there could have been a scene where they could have had a plan about breaking into the house at a cafe, or restaurants, it would have been better to have a bit more screen time with them. And I feel like it's a bit under there. So also at the same time, Kevin is also trying to be afraid of this old man named Marley, who isn't a bad person. It's just how the neighborhood kids have made up these tall tales and urban legends, just to make it seem like he's this bad person. But over time, Kevin and him start to bond, and it's almost like a surrogate grandfather relationship. So at the same time with Home Alone, it is definitely a classic film. I think what makes Home Alone great, it's just how over the top it is. We see Kevin trying to defend his house any way possible, and even... And even using what he can to get a free pizza, go to the shops by himself, outrun the, run the police, and so on. And yeah, in surprising enough, enough, I think we've all been home alone. And it's that moment that actually works so well. Now, I do admit with Home Alone, despite it being 103 minutes... It still builds up a lot of stuff well. We see Kevin's mum trying to, you know, make things right. We see Kevin trying to defend his house and at the same time living on his own and taking on the responsibility, facing his fears and becoming more and more responsible and more mature, like how most kids do when they're usually home alone. To me, Home Alone is a 90s gem and deserves a lot of praise. So it deserves a thumbs up. Still good, and still alright. So, comic reviewer here, signing out.